Let's talk about Figma libraries, how to create them, how to connect, and how to update them across your team. As usual, with tips and tricks along the way. In the description below, you find a link to my Figma file in case you want to play with libraries yourself. But let's first understand what they are. Shared team libraries are a way for teams to create a centralized library of design assets that can be shared and reused across multiple design projects. So you could store your styles like colors and typography styles in an external library, icons, buttons, any components really that you would commonly use across your designs. An update of the style or component in the shared team library would result in a prompt to update in any design file that uses this style or component. You can work with one or many team libraries. Let's create a shared team library in Figma. So here I have an example file. This is simply a Figma design file that contains two components, a button and a card. Jump to the Assets panel right next to Layers and you'll see the little book icon. Click on that and you open the Team Libraries and click Publish. You can now add a descriptive message of the changes you're making. I'm just going to name this First Publish. You'll see a summary of the components you're about to publish and you could check or uncheck them. If you're ready to go, simply hit Publish. And that's it, you publish the library. If you have a look at your files thumbnail, you can see that the normal design files have a blue thumbnail and if it's published as a library, it's going to turn black. You could always unpublish, simply jump into the file, go back to the team library icon and then click on the little arrow and select unpublish. But we're going to leave it as a library for now. Little tip. Any components you want to exclude from being added to your team library, simply use an underscore. Let's connect our design files with a published shared team library. Connecting libraries is really easy. So here I'm in a design file and you can see I have a frame and I have some text here and I want to use my components from the library. So to remind us, this is the button and the card in the shared team library that we just published. So I simply jump to my assets panel and click on my team library symbol. This is going to display all the libraries across your team. So this is quite a bit for my file. You might only see the library that you just saved, which in our case is library version one. You can either toggle the library on right here or click on the little error, get an overview of the components and then also use the toggle switch in this section. You can close this window and then in the assets panel, you can see the components from that library and you can simply drag them over onto your canvas. This will create instances for you. So let's override our content, the images as well as the text. I'm just going to speed this up a little bit for you. Let's also change the button text slightly and move it into position. And I'm also going to use the Unsplash plugin and add some images for my authors. If you select any instance on the right hand side next to the instance name, you'll see a little symbol that says go to main component in library. If you click it, it will open up the original library with the main components. We can also make changes to our libraries and update across all files using them. So here I'm in my shared team library and the components of this library are already used in design files across my team. So let's just change the layout a little bit and let's move this part up to the very top. Let's take the line with it. And you will now see that in the assets panel, there's a little bubble indicating that we need to update our changes. Click on the book item and you'll see you will be prompted to publish your change. Click on it and you can see that there was a change made in the card and you can also see all the other unchanged components. You can add a message here. And once you're done, click publish. 
If we jump back to our design file that uses any of those components, you can see that at the bottom, you'll be prompted to update. So it says components update available and let's review. You can now either update all changes automatically, but there is another nice little feature. If you select any of the instances, you'll see right next to the instance name in the properties panel, a little circle appearing that says updates available. Click that and you can select review updates. You now get a side by side view of the changes made. And another little feature I like especially if you click on overlay, you can get the components on top of each other. This is really handy when you're dealing with little changes in padding. I am going to accept that change and simply click update all. So now my design is aligned with the current version of the library again. You just need to make sure that in your team, everybody working in the component library publishes necessary updates and that everybody consuming styles or components from libraries accepts those published changes in the design files. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button. There is more coming. Also make sure that you visit me on moonlearning.io where besides many other courses, you find the in-depth course about documenting, sharing and handoff in Figma. Hey.